Hey guys, Aaron and Dusty and little Max here <laughs> and welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. We made our way to the shoreline We got away from the worst And I'm not sure we're okay yet as many of you may know, if you've watched our vegan before and after story, then you know we started on this journey about five years ago and it all started with 40 days of no meat. What? So today we're going to be sharing with you guys seven things that happen when you stop eating meat. Yeah. And in particular, what happened to us when we stopped eating meat. <laughs> yes. So the list is obviously greater than seven things, but we thought let's make a, a, a somewhat graspable list that we can share with you guys. So let's just go, let's get right into it. Number one, better digestion, healthier gut, you name it, all of these things are going to get better. As you guys know, like Aaron said, if you've watched our other videos, you know my gut history is a tattered and torn up one. And one of the first things I noticed was that my digestion was improved on a plant-based diet and I felt so, so much better. And for me, same thing, <laughs> horrible digestion for completely different reasons though. I would just say as far as the elimination component goes, I was not regular and none of us are happy when we're not regular. So I became super obsessed with fiber. The plant-based diet has obviously helped with that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. For me, I was on a heartburn medication. I had acid reflux, so uncomfortable all the time. It did take me a little bit of time to actually come off the medications, but not eating meat, dairy, these types of things reduce that inflammation, reduce that acidity, and my digestion got so much better. Right, so every single plant food on the planet contains fiber, which right. equates to amazing digestion. And every single animal product on the planet contains zero fiber. Right, <laughs> so eat your plants for better digestion. And moving on to number two. Well, we would like to say weight loss. We're going to stick with healthy weight because right. neither of us really struggled with extreme weight gain that we needed to lose. Right. But I would say overall, my body just looked more proportionate. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gone up and down phases where I have gained weight, phases where I've lo lost weight. And what an amazing feeling to be able to basically eat as much as you possibly want and just be kind of where you need to be. So yes, while most of you will experience weight loss if that is your goal. On the same token, when Dusty and I quit meat for 40 days, we were so afraid, so many people were telling us, you're gonna shrivel up and blow away. You guys are not gonna make it. Uh, on top of that, like Dusty said, we have been able to actually start to gain healthy weight as we've both been on this weightlifting journey. Your body will just do what it naturally wants to do when you're feeding it the right fuel. So if you're working out, exercising, you will feel and look how you should be looking because you're eating the right foods. Not too much fat, not too much protein, just the right amount of foods and that's what we've done with our whole food plant-based diet. Moving on to number three, more energy and faster recovery. So again, speaking to the whole fitness thing, being an athlete like both Aaron and I are, obviously you want to have more energy to be able to perform and then recovery to be able to perform again and again and again. <laughs> <laughs> and even just on a baseline level, if you don't consider yourself an athlete or you're right. not highly active, when I used to go to work every day and sit down at my desk, I would find myself just not necessarily dozing off, but kind of spacing off. I felt like I could never focus because I was always just so lethargic and felt so drained. But then at night I couldn't sleep, so it just didn't make sense. <laughs> right. So again, these plant fuels are clean. You're not getting bogged down with saturated fats, excess protein the inflammation that comes from eating these foods, which is why you have increased energy, more carbohydrates, which is our body's preferred fuel source. These are what we need to, to be properly fueled, to have the energy and to, re to recover basically, so. Right, so if you're looking at the recovery from a fitness standpoint, yes, you're going to be able to work out harder, longer, faster, yep. get stronger, quicker, but on the same token, if you're just looking at it from an injury standpoint, say that you sprained your ankle or maybe you scraped your knee, anything yeah. like that, you're going to experience faster recovery time all across the board. Yep. 
Anti-inflammatory foods. <laughs> Baby handoff. The number four is a stronger immune system. So you'll be sick less, you may experience less allergy symptoms and less mucus, all of that yucky stuff that gets built up in our lungs, in our throats, in our nose, in our heads. We've all experienced that cl cloudy, foggy feeling. Right. No more of that. Yeah, so it all comes back to that same word, inflammation. So mm -hmm. meat, dairy, eggs, these animal products, bump up our inflammation in the body. Inflammation causes stress, oxidative stress, and ultimately disease. So if we reduce our inflammation, we reduce sickness, illness, disease, mm -hmm. back aches, neck aches, illness, all everything all together, right? So reduce that inflammation by cutting out these animal products. <laughs> and personally, I can say that I experience far less colds. We haven't had the flu or the flu shot in several years, right. knock on wood. <laughs> but honestly, we feel a lot healthier and happier overall. And neither of us have suffered too much with allergies, but I will say I have less seasonal congestion. Right. We're losing a soldier. <laughs> okay. <I'm just> <laughs> this is the reality of it, you guys. Handing <laughs> off back and forth. Number five better looking and healthier skin. So this is something that I think we've both experienced. I don't want to jinx myself, but I feel like I haven't had a pimple in like <laughs> years. Like my skin has been so good. And yes, I treat it better with moisturizers and stuff like that, but I think it really is from the inside out. So again, with, with the anti-inflammatory foods, with the clean eating, with drinking more water, all of these things and obviously getting rid of the meat, the dairy and the eggs has allowed my body to just be clean from the inside out and it shows and you can, might even say that it glows, I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like my skin is healthier than ever. And I will say again, not perfect. <laughs> Dusty's skin is a lot better than mine is. I still That's struggle true. with acne from time to time, uh -huh. but I've noticed that when I go out in the sun, I don't get burned as easily. My skin recovers a lot more quickly. It just looks healthier. And like Dusty said, I feel like I have a little bit more of a glow yeah. and less acne overall. And I can safely say less of the cystic acne that takes a long time to heal. Right. Who else thinks that Erin needs to go makeup free? <laughs> he she, keeps trying to pull for this. She <laughs> looks amazing without makeup and maybe it's just me. I don't know, but I, I'm so attracted to her without makeup and sure, she's got great skin. So anyway, if you guys can vouch and help me fight this cause, comment below. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, moving on to number six, less stress, less anxiety, and better sleep. Leap. Yes. Now you're saying that might be a little bit of a stretch. <laughs> stretch. How can you have less stress and anxiety when you don't eat animal products? Well, I can say safely that this was 100% my experience. Yeah. I suffered from panic attacks nightly. Dusty can vouch for that. You guys can watch our story linked below. We talk a little bit more in detail about our past. But I will say that switching my diet and just cleaning up my diet overall helped me to feel like I gained this sense of control over my life. And ultimately it made me feel so much happier and I was less stressed and ultimately at night I was sleeping a lot better. I sleep like a rock and before I barely slept at all. Yeah, I especially feel lately like my sleep has just been so on point and the weather's getting nice, that helps. Uh, the sun is shining, the days are getting longer so my rhythm might be a little bit better but Man, I just feel like the longer we've been plant-based, the better I'm sleeping. The more, you know, I don't not have stress, right? We're all still stressed. Anxiety still comes and it comes and goes, but I just feel more equipped to handle these things. And at the end of the day, man, I'm just I'm active all day because I have the energy, and so I'm ready to sleep at night. And I just feel like we're we're clean, we're good, we're rolling and yeah, less stress and better sleep for sure. And why would you experience better sleep just because you're not eating meat? Well, if you look at meat and animal products, again, moving back to number one, digestion. Yeah. The transit time for meat, dairy, and eggs to move through the digestive system is so much slower than it is with water-dense fruits and vegetables and whole foods. Right. So when you have a slow digestion, that means when you go to bed at night after you eat your meat and potatoes, that meat is still sitting in there working and grinding away and your body isn't going to be in that sound sleep dog barks max passes out we're back where were we 
<laughs> I think we're on number seven. Or wait. So you're getting more restful sleep at night and your body is better able to heal, repair, recover, all of those amazing things that we all want and need to have more energy. <laughs> right. Helpful tips. Something that we do once in a while for really good restorative sleep is a lighter dinner. So we'll do like a salad and smoothie thing for dinner instead of a big hearty stew. And we, in fact, we just did it a couple nights ago. And like you almost feel hungry when you go to bed, but I tell you what, you sleep like a rock because your body is only sleeping, restoring. It's not having to digest like Aaron just said. So, mm -hmm. so besides lighter dinners, you can also try intermittent fasting, which right. is kind of a buzzword right now. It's right. more of actually intermittent eating because it's not a true fast. Right. Aside from that, you eat an earlier dinner and the next morning you wake up and maybe eat a little bit of a later breakfast. So you have maybe like a 12, sometimes 16 hour window where you're not consuming anything other than water. Right. And it can really help to restore your energy. Number seven, our final tip for you guys, preventing and reversing disease. So right. this is huge when you cut meat and dairy and eggs from your diet. So if you guys wanna know the facts, you've gotta to go to places like nutritionfacts.org. Check out Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn, and I mean, there's a, we'll, we'll link them all below. All of these doctors are leading the field in disease prevention and disease reversal, whether it be type two diabetes, obesity, cancer, heart disease, like they're helping to eradicate these essentially man-made diseases, these lifestyle diseases. So you might be wondering why, you know, maybe I'm eating the grass fed or the free range or the organic meats. Right. What is it that's still hindering me? The fact is, like I said earlier, all plant foods have fiber, animal foods have zero fiber. So that's right. one component. But the other component is that all plant foods contain zero cholesterol. All animal foods contain cholesterol. Right. So cholesterol can contribute to heart disease, stroke, all of these things, precursors to death, early right. death. And <laughs> none of us want that. <laughs> also, all plant foods have nitrates. And when you chew them, these nitrates are released and they're basically vasodilators, right? So you have better circulation, better oxygen flow, better nutrient flow through that bloodstream. You're cleaning, like we said before, cleaning your body out and delivering the healthy nutrients and things to every, everywhere you need basically and eradicating those bad cells, those bad cancer cells and, and these weight gaining genes, these things that we don't want go and the things that we do want are just, go, they go everywhere essentially. Yeah. So. so if you're like us and you're fairly young or maybe possibly <laughs> even younger, this one you might think doesn't apply to you, but really in reality, yeah. heart disease, all of these things happen when we are young. We just may not notice right away, but at a cellular level, our yeah. cells are suffering. Yeah. And eventually it exhibits itself in the form of a stroke or a heart attack right. or cancer. And none of us want to really let ourselves get to that point. Right. So if you can do what you can within your power now to change your diet and to clean it up, get rid of the meat, you're going to experience immense health benefits. And right. personally, like I said, because we're so young, there's not a whole lot of ways to really tell, but getting your blood work done can be one helpful thing you can do. Right, so like Aaron said, heart disease doesn't happen after you have a heart attack or when you have a heart attack. It can start as early as childhood, right? So the tiny clogging of those arteries is the start of heart disease, and that is unfortunately now it's happening in children like seven and eight years old, the same as type two diabetes. These things are starting earlier and earlier. So again, like Aaron said, when you are young, even though you may have these things on the inside, it's hard to tell until you get to be older without a blood panel, a blood work. And we've started doing that a few years ago and the results are just crazy. In fact, we are going to shoot a blood work video. If you guys would like that, comment below, let us know. But we can vouch right now and say that both of our cholesterols have gone way down. Our healthy levels have gone way up. And <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, very easy to see that we are just as healthy, if not healthier on the inside than we are on the outside. And it doesn't take long to see these changes. No. My cholesterol went from a point where I needed to be on medication and I refused to take that medication. Yep. So within a matter of three months of cutting out eggs, I had already cut out meat and dairy yeah. and I was like, well, what do I do now? Cut out the eggs. So really this video should be all animal products, not just what happens right. when you cut out meat. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay guys, so I don't think we mentioned this in the beginning, but we do have a bonus. And Encore. 
more. <laughs> this may be the most important one, depending on how you entered into this plant-based lifestyle. For us, it admittedly was about our health, but for many, it is has more to do with the environment than anything, and rightly so. Not only does our planet benefit, but so do the inhabitants, not just us humans, but obviously the animals and the plants and the soil. Everything is benefiting when we go plant-based. I think it's safe to say that most of us enter into this lifestyle for personal reasons, maybe selfish reasons, right. um, to better our health, to cure ourselves of disease and illness, and lose weight possibly. Yeah. <laughs> so all of these are about self. Yeah. And eventually you come to this place, if you didn't enter into it for compassionate reasons, eventually you come to this place of caring, compassion, thinking outside of yourself, looking at animals and realizing that you're equals. We're yeah. not higher than or lesser than. We're right. all equals. We're all beings living on this planet that we need to be doing our part to take care of together. I have like this picture of the Garden of Eden and we're like all have our heads like in the mm -hmm. garden. We're all just together, right? Which we are, you know, we need to be living more in harmony with not only other humans, which by the way, a lot of vegans are not very nice to other humans. We should uh, make sure yeah. that we're being super nice and compassionate to one another, but obviously then again to, to the animals and the other inhabitants of this amazing planet which we live. Right, and so we are not perfect. We're no. not perfect <laughs> vegans. No. Um, we're not perfect vegetarians. We're not perfect plant-based eaters, but no. the most important thing is that it has really instilled this deeper sense of connection with other beings into our lives, made us more compassionate, helped us to think outside of ourselves, and also to help us to be more conscious consumers. Right. So we're not perfect, but we are a lot more conscious. We think before we purchase, whether it's something that comes in a, in a box we're gonna have to recycle, or a yeah. plastic bag we're gonna have to throw away, right. or if it's a leather belt that we really don't need. <laughs> right, yeah, and, and, and everything from paper towels, like we're thinking, so much harder than we used to and sometimes it's a pain in the butt i'm not gonna lie like do i want paper do i want plastic and all of these things you really have to start thinking about because you care and it's like this we we've even started doing like the meet the fuckers thing like if it's yellow let it mellow if it's brown <laughs> flush it down huh we want to save water like every once in a while we do those things just because it it adds up it really does add up and looking specifically at your diet, I think I, I just read a stat that was like, you save like 400,000 gallons of water a year by going on a plant-based <laughs> diet. It's ridiculous the impact you have that you don't even realize. So very slowly but surely, you become more conscious and these things really add up and we're doing more good than we think, even if it's selfishly, you know, all about our own health, we're doing more good than we think for the environment, for the planet, and for the rest of us. All right, you guys, thanks for tuning in for another top seven. Like Dusty said, we've got plenty more of these videos. We've got a whole playlist. Binge watch them all. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what your favorite of the top seven was, which one you're working on. Yep. Leave us some comments below. Leave us some love. And on that note, as always, help our channel out. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. Be sure to join us here at the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Yep. And turn on that bell to get no your notifications whenever we put out new content here. Yep. Share with friends and family. This might help someone out who's teetering on the edge. <laughs> Should I give it up? Should I not? <laughs> Follow us everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, all of the above, and connect. Send us a DM. Ask us questions. We just, we want to be here to help, and we want to connect <laughs> with you guys, so. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye, guys. Ciao. We made our way to the shoreline. We got away from the worst And I'm not sure, okay